Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, so this is computational fluid dynamics using finite volume methods course. Uh, I am Kameshwar Ravanapindi. Uh, I am an assistant professor in the department of uh, mechanical engineering here at uh, Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Uh, so let us move on to the course. Uh, the essentially the motivation to learn uh, CFT using finite volume method. Uh, as many of you are uh, aware. Uh, analytical solutions to Navier-Stokes equations only exist for simple flow problems. So if we have a complex geometry uh, or uh, complex boundary conditions which are of relevant uh, relevance in industries, uh, then we have to resort to numerical simulations. Okay. Of course, there is uh, another way to obtain a solution is to perform experiments, but that's a completely different ball game which we are not uh, going to discuss as part of this course. So here are uh, four examples of uh, complex geometry for which uh, CFD is applied. So the first one here you see is a flow over a, a racing car, okay, for which the design of the racing car is basically done by CFD simulations. Uh, the second one is a flow over the entire complete aircraft uh, where the pressure distribution in terms of the pressure coefficient is plotted which can be used to iterate the design. And the third one here is an example of an internal flow where uh, a cooling of a uh, gas turbine blade is, is kind of accomplished in this. And the, finally, the fourth one is an example of a turbulent combustion where a swirl induced combustion chamber here is being studied using uh, CFD, okay. Now, uh, the question would be why then, why find it volume method, why not use any other method? Well, uh, the answer kind of lies in uh, the, the complexity, uh, uh, the essentially the, the application of finite volume method can be done to several complex geometries where finite difference method, although it can be tailored to be very high order, cannot be easily applied for uh, some complex geometry. As a result, finite volume method has attracted uh, uh, the researchers and the people from industry in successfully applying it to many different problems. Okay, So that is the kind of primary motivation for this course. Um, uh, so let us look at some of the uh, uh, essentially the, the, who, who will be the audience for this course. So the audience could be uh, undergraduate students in their pre-final year or in their final year as well as postdoctoral and doctoral students uh, who work on uh, fluid mechanics research uh, as well as practicing scientists and, in, and engineers from industry and uh, of course also faculty involved in teaching uh, CFD courses can also may find this course uh, useful. Okay. So coming to the prerequisites, uh, uh, essentially the prerequisites are very minimal. Uh, we expect you to have some basic understanding of uh, engineering mathematics which comprises of uh, linear algebra, ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. Um, and you must have done some course on uh, fluid mechanics and heat transfer. So essentially if you are into your um, pre-final year or final year, you must have already covered uh, these courses. Okay. Coming to the syllabus, uh, so essentially we have uh, six chapters, uh, so the duration of the course is about 12 weeks, uh, that means we will be talking about each chapter roughly for about two weeks each. Uh, we will have 12 assignments as well, uh, so that is one per week and the lectures are going to be about three and a half to four hours per week. Okay. Um, so the chapters are essentially we will start off with deriving and reviewing the governing equations that are relevant to fluid flow and heat transfer. Uh, then we will have an overview of all the numerical methods that is basically finite difference and finite volume methods. However, uh, remember that the, the main uh, focus of this course is on finite volume method. Okay, so we are going to look at um, some linear uh, system solvers such as gauss seidel and uh, or relaxed uh, uh, gauss seidel as well. Uh, then um, this is the primary organization of the course. Essentially, we, you, you will learn uh, how to solve diffusion equation, convection diffusion equation and uh, incompressible fluid flow equations on both structured and unstructured meshes. Okay, So that is the kind of um, uh, good thing about this course is, is, is you will learn it on how it works on both structured and unstructured meshes and that is what kind of makes it uh, stand apart from all other courses that you that are out there. Okay. All right, uh, so what are the learning outcomes? So what are you going to learn if you kind of do this course? You will learn how to discretize and solve equations that arise in fluid flow and heat transfer problems. Uh, you will also be able to set up algorithms uh, for the solution of diffusion, convection diffusion and incompressible fluid flow equations. 
Um, programming is not mandatory for this course and all the assignments are or can be done using hand calculations and none of them actually involve programming. But if you uh, quickly pick up programming or you already know how to code then that will be an addition to uh, your learning process because all these algorithms that are being taught in the class uh, or the assignments uh, can be coded up and that will kind of make uh, the, your learning much more uh, interesting. Okay, But however programming is not at all mandatory so you don't need any programming background um, neither for the assignments nor for the final exam. Okay, So essentially once you do this course you will be able to appreciate how uh, these commercial and open source uh, CFD software uh, work Okay, because that is what we are going to look at. And of course, it will also help you in uh, implementing uh, your own functions, okay, your own functionality into existing solvers. For example, if you want to implement a user defined function into uh, a software such as Fluent, or if you want to change and come up with a new um, solver in open form, all these things you could probably do it better because now you know the working principles are essentially how the equations, how the terms will be uh, discretized and where these terms go. Okay, So that is kind of the learning outcomes uh, out of this course. So the suggested textbooks are, we have about five textbooks here. The first one is a Numerical Heat Transfer and Fluid Flow by S.T. Patankar, that is the primary book for our course. And the second one is uh, Introduction to Computational Fluid Dynamics uh, by West and Maharaseka that will also form another textbook for our course. And the other ones are kind of listed as reference books here uh, by Computational Methods for Fluid Dynamics by Ferziger and Perik and uh, the Finite Volume Method in uh, CFT by Mukhal and other, uh, and other researchers here. Uh, so, and the Computational Fluid Dynamics by T.J. Chung. The, these books can also be used but mostly we will focus our lectures based on the first two books as such. Okay, uh, And of course the lectures will be taught on a uh, kind of pen and paper so it will be on a tablet so you, you are encouraged to take notes as you go along such that it will kind of you know register uh, in your um, on, on brain. Okay, So uh, well uh, finally I would like to acknowledge uh, my own teachers who taught me so, uh, so Professor Vinay Kishwaran uh, taught me first time uh, uh, the finite volume method when I was in, uh, in my master's at IIT Kanpur and thereafter uh, it was Professor Jayati Murthy at uh, Purdue University who uh, uh, very excellently taught me finite volume method almost uh, 15 years back and uh, if, if at all I am uh, teaching this course and you are able to learn something the credit goes to my teachers uh, whom I have listed here. Okay. All right, with that, uh, essentially, I welcome you uh, to this exciting course on CFD. I hope you will learn uh, uh, quite a bit and uh, thank you.